Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Odell. I, I'm going to do a quick video. I'm not going to spend 30 minutes talking. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. 2012. Let's do the damn thing. Be positive and make this year right. Go Obama. All right. Um, I'm going to try and get this message out to everybody. One six scale collectors all the way to hot toys collectors, period. Okay. 2011 from what I've noticed a lot of people complaining about the price and quality control all right 2012 this is what I I don't have a problem with all that stuff so this is my advice to um, everybody who has had those problems all right don't if you got a problem with the price of a figure don't buy it if you've heard or seen too many quality control issues and you think that it might happen, you know what? You can't even sit there and think if it happens to the figure. When the figure comes out and somebody does a review on it, if you hear too many complaints about QC on it, don't buy it. Okay? And I think everybody should start with the Hot Toys Iron Monger. If it's too expensive, don't buy it. Um, the only way Hot Toys is going to hear your message is not through email because they can care less about um, emails. They don't respond to them. There's no communication. The only communication you have is with the store from where you bought the product from. So the only way Hot Toys is going to get the message out is, for instance... Um, let's say they put out another war machine and then they say it's the chocolate milk version. We're going to, it's, it's a different, uh, paint job, same shit, different paint job. But then next thing you know, they see that their sales completely declined on that figure. They're going to be like, yo, what the fuck happened? Then they're going to say, well, sir, ma'am, um, they kind of picked up and realized that you're just milking a product you're just putting shit back out to see if they're gonna buy it so they caught on to like that and they didn't buy it so therefore it did not sell you know they're putting out the the mark one again um my thing with that is if you never got one then yes this is an advantage for you to go on ahead and finally own one um if you have one just keep it no need to go buy this one. It's probably going to have a different paint job, maybe a, a different look on the head sculpt. But if you're happy with the Mark One that you have, do not go out and purchase this one. Because now if you go out and purchase this one, you're only making Hot Toys laugh all the way to the bank. Okay? So, um, with that being said, uh, that's the only way that they're going to get the message out. Because a lot of people, again, it's it's an addiction and they know that they have you guys, you know, addicted to this to where it's like, you know what, I'm not too happy. Uh, I'm not too happy with the figure, but I'm still going to go buy it anyway. Like people can look at the Indiana Jones and complain, you know, they look and say, man, that head scope looks like shit, but they want to be in the group with everybody else that has one. So they went on ahead and they bought one. Now you just contributed to the to the Hot Toys mission, and that is to sell as much stuff as they possibly can, no matter how good the proto the how good the actual product is or how bad the product is from the prototype or uh Whatever complaints that people have, people are going to sit there and say, man, I have to be in that group. You know, I have to be in the group and I have to sit here and go get it. Now, if you are, if you have no issues with Hot Toys whatsoever and you buy stuff and then you're just like, man, um, I'm going to sell it just to get rid of it. Okay, fine. But if you have an issue or a problem with Hot Toys and you're buying shit from them and then you turn around Three weeks later and you sell it, you're still contributing to what Hot Toys wants. Yeah, you might get your money back, but now you just sat there and you just bought a product you weren't satisfied with, you know, or you you bought it and then now you just turned around and you just sold it because you really didn't want it. So my thing about it is that's what reviews are for. 
you know, look at it and then just ask yourself, you know what? <sighs> Do I really want that? You know, I just don't know. Do I really want that or not? If you don't know, don't fucking buy it. You know, because now if you don't buy it, guess what? You didn't contribute to the Hot Toys mission. You know, like I said, when this War Machine Milk version came out, I think that was the most ridiculous thing that they ever put out. But yet people were like, man, I've got to have that in my collection. I've got to be the first to have it. So what do they do? They go out there and they buy it. You know, um, CF Motor Racer, you made the point of old boy out there in China. He's the first one to get the product from um hot toys before it gets back to the states but then yet when you you know when you or somebody else wants to purchase it from he adds more money to it well guess what i can't knock him for that i can't he's trying to get his hustle on because guess what what do what do people do when they get something they're the first ones to sit there and fucking get it come on here and throw a review and they be like yo i think i'm the first one that's going to put this review out because I'm the first one that got it. You know, he's not going to sit there and sell it for what the United States is going to sit there and sell it for because he's like, why? Let me add up some more money. If you really want this shit, let me go on ahead and add some more money on it because if you really want it, you're going to sit there and you're going to pay for it. And that's what Hot Toys does. They sit there and like this Batmobile, everybody has hyped it up. Everybody that went to Comic-Con, they saw it. They're posting messages on Facebook. Every time they see a photo, it's like, I've got to have it. I've got to have it. I'm not worried about what the price is. But there's going to be some people saying, I'll get it, but it depends on the price. Hot Toys is going to look at it and be like, yo, you, you see all this input that people are doing? People are like going crazy over this uh, Batmobile. How much do you think we should sell it for? I think we should sell it for 700 I think we should sell it for 1300 They're still going to buy it no matter what sell that shit for 1300 and guess what people are going to be like oh my god it's so fucking expensive and then what do they do they, they look at their figures and they're like uh man i guess i can let the iron man mark 5 go and i i guess i can let this go just so you can give hot toys more money no just look at it and just say $1,300 for that Batmobile? Shit. I'm just going to have to be the motherfucker that's just going to look out on that. I'm not spending $1,300 on that shit. And if everybody sits there and does that, then when the sale finally comes out and the next thing you know, the CEO is like looking at the computer and the next thing you know, instead of it going up, it's going down. He's going to be like, what What the fuck, sir, ma'am? The, the price was way too much. $1,300 was just way too much money. They didn't buy into it, so therefore they didn't buy it. That goes the same with any other figure. You know, I look at the Batman. I look at the Joker. I look at the price. Hey, it looks good to me. I know that if I do wait to see how the quality control is on it, it's going to be sold out. So I might as well jump on it now, you know. But for those who do look at it and they're like, man, that price is too high. But then they're like, everybody else is sweating it. Everybody else is sweating this piece. I've got to get it. Even though the price is too high, everybody else is going to have it. I need to be in that group. Now you're just kicking yourself in the ass. If your mind is telling you that this is too much, then don't buy it. The only way Hot Toys is going to hear and respond to shit is... Uh, when their prices start declining and people just stop buying shit, you know, and they just sit there and they just say, you know what, until I see a figure and I look at that figure and I'm like, it's a decent price, then I'm not going to buy it. No matter what it is, I don't give a shit what they put out until I see a decent price that's within my budget and, and within my reasoning, I'm not going to buy anything till people, until people start actually doing that hot toys is going to continue to do whatever they're going to do just like they did in 2011 they're going to do in 2012 they're going to do in 2013 because um, you keep putting the money into their hands until that money stops going in their hands then they're going to sit there and stop and say we need to listen and figure out how come we're not making money well people are complaining okay complaining about what and then they'll fix the problem but until then um you know, it's what's why, 
what's the point in complaining if you're contributing? Now, I'm not going to put names out, but certain individuals complain about how bad eBay is and, and, and how bad they hit you up with these fines, how bad PayPal, how they sit there and fuck you in the ass with these fines, yada, 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 yada. But then yet, half the stuff from this individual's collection is on eBay. Okay, and the only way that, you know, the way that I'm looking at it is the only way you can pay for it is PayPal. You can't talk shit and then go sit there and turn around and go right back into using it. If you're going to rebel, rebel. But we all know you can't buy shit without PayPal. You can't sell shit without PayPal. That is what everybody uses in this world. eBay is one of the best things that you can use to shop whether if it's locally or if it's overseas or whatever it's the number one tool to sit there and help you sell things you know so you either gotta sit there and stop using it or you're just gonna have to sit there and say fuck it you know it's the only way that i can use it they're gonna hit me up with these fees so i'm either gonna have to raise the price and adjust it to where i'm not getting fucked over by the fees or or whatever but you can't sit there and talk shit about it and then you turn around the next day and you continue to use them there, there's just no point into that so it's the same thing with hot toys 2012 people um I, my only complaint with hot toys is i just want them to come out with different figures different characters stop milking the same line over and over and over again uh Let's get some different characters out there. You know, there's plenty out there. Let's get some real talent in there with these head sculpts and, uh, you know, put some good shit out. You know, that's that's my only complaint with them. But um, the real test is going to come down with this Hot Toys Iron Monger. Some people are saying it's just way too expensive, but I'm just curious if they're just going to suck in and just say, I got to have it because I have to be I have to be one of those people that have to have it. The same thing with um, the Batmobile. Nobody has a clue as to how much this thing is going to be. So my curi- I'm just curious as to, is it going to be mad expensive? And people are just going to say, yo, I got to have it. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to buy it. I'm just going to have to suffer and just go on ahead and just buy it, even though it's too expensive. Now, if it's too expensive, just learn just to look at it and say, hey, man, that would have been a nice-ass piece of my collection. But I'm just going to have to walk right past it. I'm, I'm not going to dish that money out to it. And when you do that and sales start declining, uh, sales start declining um, in Hot Toys, then the message will be put out and they will hear, finally hear it. And then, you know, who knows? They may do something about it. And then um, they may not do anything about it. So um, that's my only message that I hope I can get out to everybody and um for those who don't have a problem with hot toys keep doing your thing get whatever you want but for those who do have the problem uh t- just start looking at what you want and what you don't want and if you don't want it because of this don't feel that you have to be dr- drawn into the group of individuals who are going to have it that batmobile is going to be a badass piece i know this um but Again, for those who may look at the price and be like, yo, this shit is just way too expensive. You got to learn to just put that chin up and just walk right by, you know, and just say, hey, that's just a piece that uh, I wish I could have got. And then, you know, hey, maybe may, maybe one day hope that you can find it on eBay for way much less. Seriously doubt it. But, you know, that's my thing about it. So, um uh, yeah, so the new picture for the Mark 1, I personally never got one, so I am going to purchase this one. Uh, if I did have the original one, I seriously doubt I would have pur- I would purchase this one. It's the same t- thing if I had the war machine, I'm not purchasing the uh, the milk anniversary machine or whatever. But I never owned a Mark 1, so therefore this is an opportunity for me to get one and uh, you know, get it before it sells out and then people want to sell it for $2,000, which you know, people will sit there and uh, uh, they will sit there and do. Other than that, um, like everybody saw in the video, I'm going with the uh, 
uh, the life size uh, Batman. Um, I am going to talk with Andy and uh, when his projects that he's doing now get cleared off the table, that uh, I'll have him start on uh, the Christian Bale um, head sculpt. People were asking, what are you going to do with the head? The head will more than likely be on the the body. I'm not going to go with a regular mannequin because some of those mannequins have corny freaking looks to it. I want to bring life to it. So Tom Spina or Spina, I guess that's his name out in New York. I'm going to get with him and see if he can, you know, hook a brother up and, uh, I want to have, I just want to bring life to it. Those mannequins, when you use a mannequin, it, it just looks dead. I've done one before. If you look way back in my videos, I did a life-size Jason. That was a fucking joke. I, I look back at that video. I'm surprised I haven't deleted it. But I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, it just it just looks dead to it. So um, the, uh, the head sculpt will be on the body with the suit. He'll be holding you know, and uh, the back cow. And then what I do plan on doing is where having an alternate head with the cow, uh, with his face, you know, underneath the, uh, the cow, he doesn't have to redo a whole head scope. I just need the, it's just like the one six figures. So basically I'm going to go with, uh, uh, with that. And I'm only doing that because, you know, the Dark Knight is coming out in July, and I think I can get this done before July hits. And then once that's done, um, uh, it is a toss up because I do want a Superman. I, I got a rep for uh, Christopher Reeve, but Blade, man, I definitely need to get that done. And that might be. Uh, that might be next. And like I said, I don't go with the mannequin poses anymore. People were asking me, what were we going to use for the body? I'm going to have Tom Spina, whatever his name is, I'm going to have him hook it up. I'm not going to do no mannequin and just have it sitting there stand. I've seen people just throw the costume on a mannequin. That shit just looks plain. There's no life to it whatsoever. And if you're going to do this, you know, bring some life into it. And to answer the one of the questions that I got in here, I, yes, I did mention that I'm a diehard Michael Jordan fan, and my last project that I probably will have Andy do is a life-size model of Michael Jordan um, shooting his uh, final shot as a Chicago Bull. Uh, if you look on the Sports Illustrated uh, magazine and you see him um, shooting the ball when he shot the game-winning shot against Utah, I want that. And what I mean by I'm talking about the full six foot six, the Jordans, the real Jordans that uh, uh, that he wore, they will be on the feet. Official uh, NBA socks to uh, the a replica of his North Carolina um, shorts that he wears underneath uh, the actual NBA uniform. No fake shit. I'm getting the real NBA uniform um, and an official NBA basketball. It's going to be literally him in motion, basically in the air, shooting that final shot. People are like, you know, why? I've got a mad fucking collection of Michael Jordan stuff back at home. Nobody in this world have I ever seen has anything like that. I've seen some Michael Jordan statues that they have at like Madame Tussard. Um, but it's just with him just standing there, you know, with a basketball, that's it. Nobody has an actual image of him, you know, um, whether he's look like he's dunking or he's shooting. I want it. That will probably be the final project that I will have, uh, Andy do because I can't have a whole basement museum. That'll be kind of crazy. And, I'll probably freak a whole bunch of people out if they came downstairs and saw. Uh, they'll be like, you got Madame Tussard's museum down in your fucking basement. So uh, hopefully that answers uh, that question. I don't want to. I love collecting, but I don't want to get. I don't want to get too crazy and just have it where, you know, it's in the basement. and You got a whole bunch of other shit all over the place. So I don't want to get too uh, weird on that. All right. Deuces. Uh, it's almost fucking oh shit. It is midnight here. Um, oh, yeah. 
Um, and I'm sure everybody saw that Brock Lesnar fight. Dude, retire. Stay home with your fine ass wife, Sable. And um, don't go back to the WWE because I don't think they really want you back there. I think you, I think you talked enough shit to the point where I, they, I don't think they really want to fuck with you. I know the Undertaker doesn't want you back there, so stay at home, enjoy life. You got money, um, you got a fine ass wife, because uh, you, I think you embarrassed yourself in this last fight because that dude kicked, he literally kicked the shit out of you. So I already knew if you didn't wrestle this dude. If you try to go toe to toe, he was gonna kick your ass, and that's pretty much uh, what happened. Leave the MMA to the big boys. You you can't compete in that league. You just can't compete. So uh, don't go back to the WWE. Don't. I know you want to put your face back out in the public because it's embarrassing because you talked a lot of shit and you got your ass whooped. Just go home, chill with your badass wife. And uh, just enjoy life. But don't go back to the WWE. Alright. Deuces everybody.